A level of computing so powerful, it doesn't just solve problems. It redefines what problems can be solved. This is quantum computing, a groundbreaking technology that doesn't just improve on the old rules, it invents entirely new ones. At its core are the bizarre laws of quantum mechanics, where particles defy logic, existing in multiple states at once, communicating across vast distances instantaneously and challenging everything we thought we knew about reality. These strange phenomena aren't just theoretical curiosities. They're the building blocks of a revolution in computing that could transform medicine, radicalize artificial intelligence, and even rewrite the rules of cybersecurity. What makes quantum computing so extraordinary? The answer lies in two principles that are as fascinating as they are powerful, superposition and entanglement. At the heart of quantum computing lies the concept of superposition, a principle that fundamentally changes how we process information. In classical computing, everything boils down to bits zeros and ones, like light switches that are either off or on. But quantum computers use qubits, which can exist in a superposition of states. This means a qubit can be zero, one, or both at the same time. Imagine you're standing at the entrance of a maze, trying to find the fastest path. A classical computer would explore one path at a time, methodically testing each option. A quantum computer, leveraging superposition, can explore all paths simultaneously, massively reducing the time to find the solution. Mathematically, this works because a single qubit in superposition represents two possible states, 0 and 1. Add a second qubit, and the number of possible states jumps to 4. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Importantly, these states aren't processed one at a time, they're handled simultaneously. This exponential growth continues as more qubits are added. For example, 20 qubits can represent over a million states at once, making quantum computers uniquely suited to solving complex problems like molecular simulations or optimization tasks. Classical computers would require immense processing power and time to achieve the same. The principle of superposition is rooted in quantum mechanics, a field developed by pioneers like Erwin Schrödinger, whose famous thought experiment with a cat that's both alive and dead until observed is a metaphor for superposition. In the 1980s, Richard Feynman saw the potential of these quantum rules, proposing that to simulate the universe, we'd need quantum computers. His vision was the spark that ignited the race toward quantum computing. If superposition allows quantum computers to explore infinite possibilities, entanglement is what makes them work together in perfect harmony. Entanglement occurs when two qubits become so deeply connected that measuring the state of one qubit instantly determines the state of the other, no matter how far apart they are. It's as if two magic dice always roll matching numbers, even if one is on Earth and the other is on Mars. This relationship enables quantum computers to process information as a unified system, allowing them to perform complex calculations more efficiently than qubits in superposition alone. Entanglement amplifies the power of superposition because the qubits are no longer acting independently, they are now interconnected. Quantum entanglement is a feature of quantum mechanics. Even Albert Einstein doubted this phenomenon, calling it spooky action at a distance. But in the 1960s, experiments by John Bell and others proved entanglement is real. Today, entanglement isn't just a curiosity, it's the backbone of quantum computing. So, why do superposition and entanglement matter? Because they allow quantum computers to solve problems which the classical computers can't even touch. Quantum computers simulate molecules at an atomic level, allowing researchers to test countless chemical interactions and discover new drugs faster. Machine learning relies on analyzing massive datasets. With quantum entanglement, these datasets can be processed in parallel, enabling smarter and faster AI systems. Industries like logistics and finance rely on solving optimization problems, such as finding the best delivery routes or investment strategies. Quantum computers, using superposition, can test all possible solutions simultaneously. While quantum computers could break classical encryption, they also enable quantum-safe encryption, communication that is virtually unhackable, 
even by quantum systems themselves. Quantum computing is no longer a distant dream. Companies like Google, IBM and some startups are building real quantum systems. In 2019, Google's Sycamore processor solved a problem in 200 seconds that would take classical supercomputers thousands of years, a milestone known as quantum supremacy. But it's not just about speed. Google's recent Willow chip, with 105 qubits, is tackling quantum computing's biggest challenge, error correction, to overcome the fragility of qubits, which are prone to interference and errors. This brings us closer to scalable, practical quantum machines that could solve real-world problems in the near future. Superposition and entanglement are the heart of quantum computing, but how do we turn these principles into real, functioning machines? In the next video, we'll explore the fascinating algorithms and hardware behind quantum computers, the qubits, the gates, and the engineering marvels that make quantum computing a reality. If you've enjoyed unraveling these mysteries, hit like, subscribe, and join us for more as we dive deeper into the quantum revolution. See you next time.